right there, Latin 3. Here we go with chapter 58, Big C, the burning of the Senate House. And I want you to understand what's going on here. So uh, Clodius is a guy who is also on Caesar's side. Milo is a guy who's also on Pompey's side. Uh, however, Pompey doesn't like Milo. Uh, and Caesar's uh, main uh, lieutenant, uh, Mark Antony, doesn't like Clodius. So you've got all kinds of frenemy action going on. Anyway, Milo and Clodius don't like each other. Uh, Milo uh, disdains Clodius because Clodius actually uh, made himself a pleb. He got a adult plebeian to adopt him, uh, and he rejected his patrician roots, which you just don't do, uh, so that he could become tribune, so that he could uh, then veto any legislation that the Senate does, because tribune has that power. Uh, anyway, Clodius also is known as Clodius Pulcher, uh, Clodius the Handsome. Um, and his sisters, Claudia Pulcra, Claudia the Beautiful, um, both of whom had a wild reputation of being rather uxorious uh, and amorous, uh, and to the point where a lot of people started rumors about them being together with each other. Uh, it's gross, uh, but it also plays into uh, Cicero's defense of Milo. Uh, Cicero's main defense was, well, yeah, my client did it, but, um, you know, his sister's a whore, so there you go. Um, but, uh, so here we go. Uh, so it, it just gets all kinds of weird. And by the way, if you've read Shakespeare's, uh, Julius Caesar, you might notice some very similar things happening in Big C. Uh, the body of Clodius was brought in just before nightfall and a huge mob of the most gross common people, uh, or the most base common people and slaves stood with great mourning around the body that had been placed in the atrium of his house. So his body gets returned home in Rome. Moreover, Fulvia, Clodius's wife, who was pointing out her wounds or his wounds with unrestrained weeping, uh, she uh, augmented their outrage at the deed. So she's pointing at each wound. That's the Shakespeare part. Uh, at dawn the next day, an even larger crowd of the same type uh, flowed together and several distinguished men were seen there. Uh, with their encouragement, the distinguished men who were now in the crowd, uh, the ignorant mob carried the naked and crushed body just as it had been placed on the beer. Uh, a beer is a, uh, a flat slab that you're going to end up immolating or burning a corpse on. Uh, they carried it into the forum so that the wounds could be viewed and they placed it on the rostra. That's the speaker's platform. So I, I can't emphasize enough how big a deal this is the most handsome um star of rome so i don't know what it, but but like politically active so like let's say george clooney uh, uh or denzel washington uh gets murdered they carry his body to the senate house and then the following thing happens in the american capital like think how crazy that is uh, so, yeah, um, there, in front of a public meeting, uh, Plancus, this is Titus Munatius Plancus, and Pompeius, uh, Pompeius Rufus, not Pompey the Great, um, who were supporting Milo's political rivals, okay, they encourage hatred to be brought down upon Milo. Uh, the people, under the leadership of Sextus Clodius, the scribe, so a different guy, um, brought the body of Publius Clodius into the Senate House and burned it, the body, with benches, platforms, tables, the ledgers of the secretaries. So they, they made a funeral pyre, pyre out of like the, the Senate seats, basically. And because of this fire and the Senate, self, the Senate House itself also caught fire or was burned out. And likewise, the Basilica Portia, uh, which was right next door to it or which had been joined to it, was also burned. So all of that catches fire because they don't like that Clodius was killed. Um, and that literally burns down the Senate house to the point where when Caesar gets stabbed a few years later, he's not in the Senate house. He's in a permanent uh, theater that Pompey had actually built. So anyway, that is chapter 58. Uh, now we're gonna go on to 59 where it's actually Cicero and it's gonna get a little bit confusing for you. Just Hang within the commas and work your way toward the verb, okay? I'm going to hit the button.